Speech minimizers have a tendency to slip into our vocabulary and we have no idea we're doing it. What's a speech minimizer? Things like excess apology, using the word just or quick in order to shorten the amount of time that you're asking for. Let's talk about the apology first. This is something that you'll see blogs and articles. I've got a blog post on it myself. It's a very common theme with women, and that is we tend to apologize too much. We say sorry when we're entering a room, entering a conversation, have something we want to add, especially when it's in a room where there's you know a lot of conversation going on. We'll start with sorry, I had one thing I wanted to add. Step away from that. I, I often coach women, unless you've stepped on someone's foot in the office, there's no reason to apologize. Find another way to enter the conversation. Just state your idea. And you can do it in a, a, a kinder way so that you feel comfortable, but you're still powerful. Saying things like, Joe, I'd like to build on that. Or, Sue, that's a great point. It correlates very tightly with what else I was thinking and you share your ideas. Anytime you're getting ready to go to a meeting, think about how you can insert your ideas with power without apologizing. The other thing you want to be careful of is that minimizing language. I'll just take a moment, just. If I can have just a few minutes of your time, I know that we can come to a resolution. Or only, it works the same way. I'll only take a minute of your time. Really be careful with that because it sounds as though you don't think your ideas are worth the time it takes to explore them. For this week, I'd like you to focus on eliminating sorry and really being careful to watch for those minimizing words that you may be using. Just, only, you know, a quick, a quick minute, these types of words. Remove them and state your position more powerfully.